look tanned in this video. Good morning guys, welcome back to my YouTube. Hope everyone is feeling fresh and dandy. Um, just thought I'd quickly record an intro for my video. So today's vlog is literally, I'm still in Bali. It's quite a random one to be perfectly honest with you. I didn't really have a plan because I did a workout and I thought, oh yeah, great, I'll put the workout in. And then I was like, that looks a bit boring just going into a workout. So I basically thought I'd get up, I'd show you guys what sort of thing I tend to eat when I've done a workout or basically what I fancy. And then I thought I'd give you a hotel tour so you could actually see where Aaron and I were staying when we are in Bali. And then of course we'll just jump into the workout. So quite random, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys enjoy the vlog and the workout. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and I will catch you guys very soon in the next vlog. Anyway, enjoy. Bonjour lovers, I'm back in a minute. Um, my skin's really breaking out here. I don't know why, maybe because I'm eating a lot of veg and salads and smoothie bars. I don't really know. But anyhow, um, I've done my workout this morning. I've done a HIIT session because I wanted to do something quite intense. So I've done that. I've had a shower, that's why I look a bit red because I always have hot showers. So, done that. Literally, I just need to chuck on some shorts and then Aaron and I are going to head to a place called Motion Cafe. He doesn't like it, I like it because they do these amazing protein waffles. So because I've done an intense workout, I just want to have something quite substantial and something that has carbs. So I'm going to have that and on top of it, it's basically a plant blaze. I can't even speak plant-based waffle and I have peanut butter on top with berries so I don't know if I'll be able to film it there because sometimes it can be a little bit loud and it's quite cramped so what I'll do is I'll just show you it so you guys can see what I've had and anyway I'll show you guys what I'm having then Aaron and I will probably go and do some work for a bit or come back here not too sure but I will check in with you guys soon so see you in a minute in my hotel i've literally just come back i've been doing some work for the last like two hours or so and i've just put my bikini on and i'm going to go and chill by the pool but i'm actually gonna put well you can't see me gonna put some flip-flops on and i'm going to show you guys where we're staying so you can have a look this is mine and aaron's room so sorry about the mess it's an absolute fucking tip but as you can see look nice little area there bed looks like a bomb's gone off and then the bathroom oh hello bathroom's pretty cool as well like, it's nice so this is the outside area which is We've got one pool here, and then this is the dining, and then you have a separate little pool area, which is very nice if you don't like being in pools with other people, which is me, and then this is our view. So yeah, if anyone's in Changu and you need somewhere to stay, definitely recommend coming here. So we're going to go to the floor and do abs and then we'll finish off with bum. I am wearing a bikini top because it's so hot here in Bali. I had the air con on and it's still not doing anything. So let's just get on with it. Do the workout, you know, got to do it even in the heat because we need to stay toned. So yeah, let's just jump straight in. Okay guys, begin, put your hands to the side and then we're basically going to move up and down. So imagine you've almost like got a ball to each side of you and it's just up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, keep going. We do about 15 of these. Right, now we're gonna circle forward. And make sure that you do keep your arms up. Don't drop your arms, don't lift them too high. You just want them the same width as your shoulder. Now reverse.
Now you're going to push to the back. I almost do like a little dance here, that pump. <laughs> but just push, 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 push. It's almost like you're slapping someone. Now go slap to the side and move your rib cage when you do this. Don't move your legs, just your rib cage. If you guys want to add any intensity to this, then you can add some weight, you can add ankle weights or just some normal weights. Right now, push up. It's almost like you're slapping up. Okay, now we're gonna go down and we're gonna start on our abs. One of my favorite things. So lower yourself down gently. Okay, and to begin, we're gonna be doing through crunches. So make sure you put your arms behind and then you push yourself up. So you wanna make sure you're getting your shoulder blades off the floor and then you just wanna make sure you're really focusing on your abs and crunching at the top there. Don't forget to inhale as you go back, exhale as you come forward. Next, we're gonna do bicycles. If you can, try and make sure your elbows touch your knees. Sometimes I feel like I have to go slower to make sure I do this. So if you can't keep up with the reps, if I'm going too fast, just go at your own pace. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that elbow hits that knee and you're gonna keep your other leg straight. You can do your right or left, whatever you feel most comfortable with getting. Here we're just targeting the obliques. Now what we're going to do is scissor kicks, but when we are doing the scissor kicks, we're going to bring our arm down and it's going to go through the leg that we were pushing the knee towards, the knee and the elbow. So just make sure your hands almost clap. And again, make sure you are inhaling and exhaling correctly. So exhaling as you come up. Now we're going to switch sides, so we're going to make sure we're clapping on the opposite leg now. And continue those scissor kicks. I never used to like scissor kicks, but I do. I think they're a really good workout. Okay, so guys, get ready now to do the elbow to the knee. It's the opposite leg now. I hope your abs are hurting me. <laughs> this one's good because it's challenging because you've got to obviously think about putting your elbow to your knee, but you've also got to keep the other leg straight. Perfect. Now we're going to turn over into a plank position. And we're going to do hip dips love hip dips because I think they're so good for obviously targeting the hips but also the obliques so the waistline okay pause and we're just literally going to stay here in a plank position make sure your bum's not too high not too low and now we're going to go back to the hip dips Keep pushing through to think about the bikini bod. Amazing work, guys. Right, I just put Batch here in a child's pose, stretch it out. Stretch. Amazing, now it's time for the bum. So I'm gonna go to the opposite side because I wanna show you guys, obviously facing the camera, the leg movements. 
So to begin, go into a plank position. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get one leg and we're gonna push it through, and then you're gonna go into a crunch. So kick the leg through with the same leg, crunch. Kick through, oblique crunch. Kick through, oblique crunch. So it's a bit of a weird movement, there's a lot going on, but it's actually really good because we're targeting quite a lot of the body. We're targeting the arms, we're also targeting the side of the abs, and you know, why not do two in one? If you guys are struggling to do this, then make sure you just stick by doing the oblique crunches. Okay, last one here. Okay, so this one's a bit of a weird one. It's almost like you're pushing back into a Superman pose, but with one leg. But this is really good because it's targeting your balance it's targeting the back of your legs and it's also doing your arms with the swinging motion. I think it helps to concentrate by looking at the floor, hence my serious pose. Now you're gonna swap sides straight away. And one. If you can, this seems to be easier on this side than me, but make sure your hand touches your foot. Right, the next move is we're going to be doing kicks up. So donkey kicks, but you're also a, but you're also going to be doing a crunch inwards. So crunch, kick up, crunch, kick up. And make sure that you are staying in this like bent leg position. You don't want to put your legs straight at all. So it's just doing this. This is actually going to target your bum and it's also going to be targeting your abs. Now we're going to go straight into fire hydrants. Obviously, this is targeting the bum, the juicy bum. I've actually noticed since I've been doing workouts like this, my bum's got bigger miraculously. So, if you want a big bum, do this. Okay, now we're going to go on to the other side. So, crunch in and up, in and up. Straight into fire hydrants. Great, right, I just do a quick stretch. It's now time to do a difficult exercise. So basically for this exercise, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get yourself in a plank position and and what we're gonna do is we're gonna crunch in and then we're gonna almost go into a downward dog but kick the leg straight up. So straight leg, straight into a crunch, then up, straight into a crunch. So this is really good because it's targeting the whole body. You're doing the arms, you're doing the abs and you're also doing the bum and the legs. You, as you can see from this side, this isn't my strongest side. So just do as best as you can like what I'm doing. I'm trying to get more into yoga. Amazing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to switch sides and this is the last exercise now. So plank and knee in, straight up. Knee in, straight up. Knee in, straight up. It's kind of cardio based as well because your temperatures always rise. I was getting really hot. Keep going, you've only got a few more left and then you guys are done. Amazing work guys. Okay, so we're just gonna do a quick little stretch. So just lean over, just stretch the arms out and the stomach. This is just a very, very quick stretch. I do recommend after this you do a full body stretch. Just make sure that your muscles aren't too tight. 
tired. Thanks so much guys for tuning in and doing my full body workout. So you chuckled your arms, your abs and rum. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to leave a comment if you have any comments to give. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm really out of breath and it's so hot here so I definitely need some water, a shower and some food. So anyway, I hope you guys have a good day, evening, afternoon, whatever time it is for you and I will check in with you guys soon. Bye!